I felt okay. Um, my legs felt good. My skating did. Uh, just some sloppy plays uh, I can clean up by a golf floor. Just, uh, you know, another tough one we talked about this. The, the work is there, but the results aren't there. Yeah, uh, we found a way to score one goal, and um, we just couldn't hold it down again. Uh, and then, you know, it's a bouncing puck. I mean, I got to stay on the right side of the guy. That second one, and we had some good looks six on five, but um, just couldn't get it in. What is the best way to handle that situation where it's bouncing at the blue line? Just stay on the right side of it. Um, don't take a chance. You know, I thought uh, I could get a stick on or something, but, um, you know, I just got to stay on the right side of that guy and make him come through me. And, uh, you know, it's a 1 1 game. With, five minutes left, so take my chances and play safe uh, in that situation. Uh, you, you came back in period. With, um, Alex mm -hmm. uh, Richardson was saying that you know you feel most comfortable with him. You guys have pretty good numbers, good analytics mm -hmm. together. What is it, um, the secret sauce uh, in your partnership with him? Yeah, he's just a phenomenal skater. Um, he uses his long stick, his ranginess uh, to play a great defense. Uh, he gets a lot of sticks on pucks around the net and, and stops a lot of plays, a lot of rushes coming in our zone. Um, and then you see when he does, you know, create those turnovers, he's able to get up in the rush with his legs and he may have another breakaway tonight. I know he's uh, bummed at himself at the moment. I think that's three and uh, he can't seem to put one in, but, um, you know, you just see how dynamic he is and it's, uh, it's a pleasure playing with him. In a, tight, a tight game like this, do you look back on that four minute power play in the first and look at a missed opportunity? Yeah, it was sloppy. Um, we couldn't get the puck in uh, pretty much for the whole four minutes. Um, we never got it set up, and uh, I think when our breakout's not working, we just have to get the puck in and, and went a battle down low. Um, I know we're falling in love with the drop, so maybe you know we rimmed a couple and we just couldn't get them back low when they cleared them. So um, just try to be on the same page with that, and you know it's not always going to be pretty. You know it's not going to be tic tac toe all the time. I know we scored a tic tac toe goal against them last time or last game, I believe, uh, against the Stars on the power play breakout, but. Uh, sometimes you just got to, you know, just get it in the corner, get gritty with it, uh, and work it up together and then get it set up. As one of the leaders here, how do you feel about the Hawks extending Nick Foligno and you kind of working with him over the next couple of years in the locker yeah. room culture? Uh, he, he's phenomenal for our locker room. Uh, he's one of the best communicators I've played with, one of the best leaders. Um, and he, and he genu genuinely cares about uh, everyone in this room and, and what we're trying to build and grow here. So um, I couldn't uh, ask for a better situation um, and being here this year and then extending him, uh, I think it's fantastic for the organization and for us. Thanks, Sam. Thank, Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's happened time and time. Um, time and time again. And I think we've got to you know, step up in this room. I think it's come to the point, you know, we're halfway through the season. I think we should be, um, you know, sticking together as a team, you know, having those one or nothing results. What has worked well defensively the past three games? Um, I think we're just sticking to our own structure. Um, you know, guys know where each other are, and that's probably one of the biggest things. I think, you know, when you, when you know uh, where each other are, it's the biggest help. After that, that uh, road trip in Dallas, are you guys like really gunning for this team to, to have a better showing? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially losing, what was it, 8 1 to them. Um, I think it was, you know, a little punch in the face to, to us, and, you know, we came in into this game the first two periods. We played excellent. And, um, you know, we really just got to you know, figure out our third period right now. Do you take any positives over the last five games, or do you look at the, the, the results and feel like we're missing opportunities? Obviously, we're building a process in, in this culture and or in this team right now. And, um, you know, for sure we can take away the positives that we're playing so well, but we're still losing. And, you know, that's the hardest part of this game is, you know, this league all matters, wins and losses, and, you know, losses suck. What did Dallas do differently in the third period? You guys pretty much controlled that second period and really took it to them. Maybe a couple bounces here or there go your way. It's a different game. What was different in the third period? Um, I think we played on our heels a little bit. Um, you know, we got a little too comfortable with, you know, you know that one nothing lead, and I think we, you know, I'm culprit of it too. But you know, the little chips. It's always the little battles and the little things that you need to, you know, do to make your make your team win. And um, you know. It's, it's those little battles that, that really helped it, and we didn't really do it. Yeah, like even playing that role, well, you know, I feel bad for the guys. Uh, you know, we just couldn't get that finish again. You know, we're stuck at that one goal a game, and it's just not getting us over the hump. Uh, you know, and anytime we have one goal for kind of hiccup or a turnover, it's going to be in the net. So uh, at the wrong time, too. So, I, I, you know, I mean, 
the guys are pretty down. I just I don't usually go in the dressing room after the game. I just want to let them know that you know we're really with them and we we believe in them. And I think you have to have belief that with that the way we're playing, it's not acceptable to lose and only get one goal. But uh, it's going to lead to something if we continue that. And it's hard to play against. And, uh, Unfortunately, uh, they got a little bit of life in the third period. I think they changed their lines and they found some energy where I thought we really outplayed them in that second period. And uh, we just couldn't get that second goal. And you know, some of it was just uh, us hitting the goaltender too. Not you know, it wasn't like spectacular saves. I think we just couldn't get it over the line. When you're playing in these tight checking defensive games, do you look at the power play and man, if we could have gotten one on that four minute? Might have been the difference in the game. Yeah, that would have been a real big boost uh, in the first period. It would have been nice to have one more opportunity at it in the third period or something, when, or even the second. We were going pretty good, but uh, you know you can't. You have to draw penalties, and you, have, you know. And I thought we played pretty well and skated well, but uh, uh, you know you never know, right? Like, you don't know if you're going to get that second opportunity. So that first four minute penalty, uh, we were just you know not sharp. And I didn't think our whole first period was just great. Uh, I think it was a tired team and we weren't sharp, so it was a dull period. But we found it better, uh, quicker than they did the second. But uh, you don't get that second chance in the power play, so that really hurts when you have four minutes in a row. And you know, we really didn't generate much uh, of uh, scoring chances, let alone shots. What did you make of Seth Jones tonight? It seemed like he played well overall, but just a tough yeah. turnover in that one instance. Yeah, just, you know, it was an unlucky break on a bouncing puck. And, uh, you know, I think it's just body position on a, on a big guy like uh, March maybe he has to be. A little bit more aware of his body position, but he played well. He played a lot, and I think he felt pretty good. The trainer said so. Uh, that's a good sign, and uh, you know he's a competitive guy. That that's going to bother him. That he'll be even better next week. Great.